absolutely if it means we win. Um, we'll play any style that we have to to get the to get the win. And um, you know, it, it wasn't pretty at all times tonight, but uh, when it came down to it, we did what we had to do to win. Greg Bates, College Hockey News. Tyler, um, how does it feel just to accomplish a goal of making the Frozen Four and it being the first in the program's history? It's pretty special. Um, you know, coming in as a freshman to Fair State University, um, there's, I guess you could say, memorabilia of that 0203 team uh, hung up in the walls in the dressing room, hung up in the walls in the facility, the ring facility in the weight room. And to say that we overcame uh, or surpassed what they had done that season is pretty special. Um, and, and we were kind of asked that same question about making it to the regional this year. You know, How does it feel to make it to the regional? It feels great, but at the same time, uh, we answered the question with, we, we want to win. And uh, you know, we achieved a goal here tonight. We made the Frozen Four, but we're not, look, we're not satisfied with just being there. We're going to look for two more wins. Questions for Jordy, Marty Selector, the Pioneer. Jordy, are you more than 50% satisfied now? <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say I'm, I'm satisfied with how the weekend went completely now. Um, but we're definitely going to enjoy it for uh, you know a little bit here. But we, we got some bigger things to, to get going on. And uh, we won't uh, get too excited about this. We know there's still more to do. Can you take me through the game winning goal and uh, you know what that means to you to you know, not only win this game, but to have play a part like you have in it? Uh, it was just a great play. I think it was uh, Kaner <clears throat> uh, along the boards, kind of made a nice chip out, and uh, Andy Huff uh, picked up the puck, and I just kind of looked up and realized that there was only one D-man back there, so I just tried to get up the ice as quick as I could. It was kind of near the end of my shift, and I was getting a little tired, but uh, Andy, uh, you know, awaited the D-man and made a beautiful pass to me, and I just... Uh, you know, kind of held onto the puck a little bit and then put it in uh, the empty net. So it was, it was a good feeling. Chad Dave Pranowski from uh, USCHO. Can you talk about uh, late in the third period when Cornell starts pushing? Uh, what did you have to do defensively to sort of shut things down? Well, uh, th they did start pushing a lot towards the end of the game and, and they were good all night. Um, we didn't really want to change our game plan at all. Um, we knew we had to make the simple plays and, and still um, block shots and do the little things that got us uh, through the game with the lead. So um, I wouldn't say that we changed up really anything. We did feel a little pressure, but um, I'm happy with, with how uh, the guys responded.